Hello, today is the uh, ninth day of November 2012. Welcome to today's chart analysis. We'll take a look at silver, the gold to silver ratio, the dollar index as well. A, uh, another entry would have been locked in yesterday. I'll give an update on AEP as well. So let's uh, get this started. We're taking a look at silver from the daily time frame, and I've been talking about this possible failed breakdown. Oftentimes, if you do have a failed move, it's very common to have a fast move in the opposite direction. Therefore, I'm looking for a breakout above this level for the possible failed breakdown. For the failed move, of course, or fast move, I should say. The 18 moving average has pretty much now started to move sideways. So this is that first uh, step, as I've been talking about, for this thing to change around. After this, you need to see either a nice up move, a decent size up move that's just going to instantly change the direction of the trend. Other alternative moves is a, a, a nice clear break above this side. Oh, it's made the new high, but not clear. Move up to 33, 33 and change, and then back down. Uh, that would be a nice, interesting little setup as well. What we'll do, though, is we'll take a look at the uh, silver chart from this high to this low. And we'll do this within a seven-hour time frame. So let's take a look at this now. There's that high. There's that low. You can tell me all you want that, hey, this looks like an inverted head and shoulders pattern, and it pretty much is. So, yeah. We've also had multiple major resistance tests at this significant level. That significant level is 32.39. But what I really like about these patterns is you go from this level right up to this mark. You make a higher low, you come up to it, you stabilize it, and now you have that nice little break above it. Now, I've been talking a lot about possible entries here and there, and I've even thought about this. Okay, wait for it to come back down to 32, 39, and I probably still may. But this is the type of one where if I put a lot of parameters for it to come into play, it's going to be a little difficult. What I need for it to see happen is for it to make, well, not break 3305, we'll say, and come back to 3239 and meet up within the band. So if that were to come into play, then that might be a possibility of a possible play. Because what I want to do is I want to do it for the rest of the year get it a little more advanced with each move that I possibly can. Not all of them are going to be all that advanced. So let's now take a look at the dollar index. Well, before that, we'll take a look at the gold to silver ratio, then the dollar index, and then a couple other ones. So here's the gold to silver ratio. There's really not much to talk about. After all, I talked about the possible for resistance here. That's the case. So now what's the uh, case going to be? Because if it makes it back up to this level, well then, that increases the likelihood that this level would be taken out. You take it out, and you're looking for a soft move like that. As far as the downside is concerned, if it comes back down here, you have a greater likelihood than you did back there that it takes it out. But if you do something like this, maybe make find resistance here, then you'd be looking at a possible bearish setup. So for now, it's in the middle of this uh, chart. We'll just keep it at neutral dollar index. Now we'll look at this on the daily time frame. And we got this key high, we got this key low. It has had a situation where it established for the start of this week at significant fib at 80 and two thirds. Today was the day that it has broken out above this level. So you think that silver would be going down today with the strength and the fiat debt note paper currency, but not, that's not the case. So as far as a simple possibly entry for this game, what we're going to do for this is the following. Wait for, if it even does, come up to this 81.95 area, put a stop at 82.45, and play to come back down to this level as a possible entry. Now yesterday, even with silver, I was talking about, uh, yesterday that was, for a move to go to 32.41 which is right here. Now, it occurred, and it was interesting that that was pretty much the area of the top for the day, but I did say I was looking for a pull back down to 31.95. Well, the pullback didn't bring it down to 31.95, so therefore, 
this play did not become valid. A couple other updates. AEP. This is the one that I talked about before. A play at 4180. It's still barely holding on above it. If you happen to be playing this and you're like, man, I don't, I'm not liking the looks of it. I want to get it with a 10 cent profit right now or whatever. All I'll say is I don't blame you. But for the game itself, I'm playing it through all the way. And the one that came active yesterday was EMN on the 20 minute time frame. That was a move to 5806. A stop at 5740 and a move back up to its previous high that it established. Reason for this is you have this major surge higher and a little bit of a consolidation period. If it is that legit move, it's very common that this would be the area that it would go to, down towards and then resume the trend. Of course, the longer term time frame is what I consider to be a nice pattern, which is why I considered it to be within one of the plays. But it did bottom yesterday at 58.05, one cent lower than this exact Fibonacci level. It bounced from this point. And it's pretty much back to that level as I'm saying this video right now. Again, I'm just going to see how well these do. Win, lose, or draw. I'm probably going to do this for a couple of months and that will be it. So thank you for tuning in and have yourself a magnificent weekend. Bye-bye.